All right, good morning everyone. So once again, welcome in our um, on-site worship service, no? So right now, I believe nga excited kita mo makadungog sa word karong buntaga. So right now, uh, I would like to give thanks also ni Pastor Zab nga nag-give aning nga privilege to preach the word of God. So privilege lang kayo nga mo preach sa word ni God Church. And koan lang ka nang it's a privilege good nga gamiton ta ni Lord. And dili lang diri sa stage, but even kana outside like doing victory group or one to one di ba kinsa man diri nag join og mga victory group online one to one online di ba so of course katong giingon ni pastor Sean kaniya nga uh, ginavalue nato ang family of course ginavalue po nato ang discipleship so the reason why we exist is to honor god and make disciples so even greater so together we will end this series even greater. So again, ang objective of this series is that um, we will have a greater understanding that God is bringing us to a new experience, new thoughts, new life, and new hearts that will cause us to live a life that is filled with hope, faith, and expectation. So kaninga even greater nga series no is dako kaning help personally sa ko pag first palang nga week di ba kinsa may naka complete ani katong online pata katong first new new thing new experience nga God is doing something new sa atong life especially sa karon nga season for us mga students di ba online class for them kay a ah, online for me kay bag-o ni nako para nako kuya Reg so week 2 is new new thoughts God is re- renewing our mind and last week um pastor Zab preached about new life okay so we are commanded by God to speak life and amazing lang kayo to katong gi-share ni Pastor Zab last week is when God brought him katong si si Ezekiel in the middle of the valley it was full of bones. Diba? Imagine if you are in the center middle sa katong nga valley full of bones very many and very dry the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel that time and when he commanded to speak life over those bones the breath came into them and they lived and stood on their feet an exceedingly great army. So amazing lang kayo if we want to prophesy sa atong life karon. If on sa may situation sa mong sa mong sa mong life karon, um just speak life. Okay? Speak hope in your situation. Just speak the word of God. Okay? No matter kung on sa situation nimo. So it's kind of encouraging lang sa ko that last week and today we will be closing our series even greater. And we will be talking about new hearts. Okay? New hearts. Why do we need a new heart? Okay? If nakaitupad, pwede ba nimo ipangutan na why do we need a new heart? Nga nung kinanglan mo tag bagong kasing-kasing. Di ba? Pwede ba nimo pangutan on? Nga nung kinanglan man. Di ba? Maybe some of you, musulti ka nga, ah, kinanglan kong bagong heart, Kuya Reg, or... Reggie, because dagan ka kung ginadaladala sa kong kinabuhi. Di ba? Dagan ka kanang problema sa kong kinabuhi. Negative na kaya manggawa sa kong mga baba. But again, let me illustrate to you, church, why do we need a new heart? And medically speaking, okay, medically speaking, the heart is a muscular organ, okay, that pumps blood to all parts of all human body. So it provides oxygen and nutrients in our bodies and i believe church that the human heart is the one, is one of the most important organ god placed with within our bodies so imagine mo ni ang pinaka importante so kuan siya kanang voluntary siya nga mo pump nga, nga muscular organ and i believe that person's heart one is the one is one of the most important spiritual organs as well okay it, it's the spiritual part where our emotions and desires nga musulod. So that's the heart. So meaning to say church, the general term of the heart is used to describe a person's soul. Meaning to say mind, will, and emotion. Okay? And in the Bible, it can also be referred to as the inner self. Your inner self. Your heart. Since we know, since we are created by God, in the, since we are created in the image of God, and ideally, our 
heart should be reflect, should be mirror in the character of God. Okay? Because mauna ang heart ni God. In reality, since we are sinful, okay, the longer our sinful hearts are left in their own, okay, to their own, the more they become like, sto like stone toward God. So the more nga magpalayo ta, the more nga, nga makasala ta before God, the more siya magahi. So that's why lisod kay i-reach out ni nga person. That's why maglisod ka og og humble sa imong self, admit sa imong mga wrong because of your sin. Okay? And and a new heart that will cause us to live a life that is filled with hope, faith and expectation. And now let me ask you this question, church. How are you? How's your heart? Okay? How's your heart with God right now, especially in this season of crisis? Are you continuing sa inyong relationship with God? Are you continuing in your daily devotion with God? Okay? You know what? This question is, makarelate ko aning a question. Since that time nga, um, schedule na mo ni Pastor Zab coaching and mentoring last, last Saturday. And he asked me this question, how are you, Reg? Kumusta man ka, Reg? And for me, ni answer ako, okay raman ko, Pastor Zab, but, but when he asked again, ni, ni answer, balik na ko, how are you, Reg? And na-realize na ko, ang akong heart is nag-worry ko. Okay? Tungod sa akong mga plans, tungod sa akong dreams. Nag-worry ko because of my, kanang, something na ginaprepare na ko, na pressure feeling of, kanang, exhausted because of, the things nga kinanglan ako uman nun as a campus missionary. Okay? And because of, because of this, and honestly speaking, my heart had been divided in my devotion to Him. So that's why it's important for us, church, that there are people nga mukumusta na to. How are you? And especially sa karon nga season. That's why nakaingon ko ato, Lord, I need a new heart. I need to hear your word, God. I need to go back in, in kung unsa mo ka nag I need to obey your word. And in this new season, church, we need to understand that God is bringing us a new heart. Okay? And in this book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 22 to 32, this is an illustration of God's promise to Israel. Okay? God is talking to a Hebrew people who have been scattered. So, ang background na ni mo atras ta sa gishare ni Pastor Zab last week. So, si God nag-talk siya about kaning Hebrew people nga na-scatter. So, God promised was to restore them to their land into the right relationship with Him. And they have been physically divided as people that time. And their hearts have been divided in their devotion to Him. So that's why, in verse 22, because concerned kay si God, that time sa mga people of, of Israel, Therefore, say to the house of Israel, The says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. In verse 23, I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which have been profaned among the nations and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God. When through you, I vindicate my holiness before their eyes. You know what? God is, is gracious, church. God is merciful. And, and, and he mentioned this is, um, it's not for the it's not for these people's sake, but it's for God's sake. Okay? It's for His name's sake na i-prove niya ang holiness sa, sa kaninga place. The nations will know that He is Lord. And for us, church, it's important to be reminded that it's not for our sake na si Lord na grabe ka gracious and loving, but it's for His name's sake na nga nung establish ang name ni God sa imong life karon. That's why you can share the gospel, you can share your testimony, you can share your, your kanang life nga maka-encourage sa uban, sa imong family, because God is doing something sa imong life. 
In verse 24, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you in, in, into your own land. In verse 25, I will, separ- I, I will sprinkle, sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean from all your uncle- uncle- uncleanliness and from your idols I will cleanse you. First of all, God wants us to restore your reputation first. Okay? And verse 26, I will give you a new heart, a new spirit I will put within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Verse 27, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. So, money ang promise ni God. Verse 28, You shall dwell in the land I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. So imagine, dagan ang promise ni God in this chapter. And I will deliver you from all your uncleanliness, and I will summon you the grain, and make it abundant, and lay no famine upon you. So if you're experiencing right now, a drought ang feeling, murag, murag dry kayo ang Ang imong season karon when it comes in finances, God will make your fruit. God will deliver you. God will make your fruit of the tree and the increase of the field abundant that you may never, never again suffer the disgrace of famine among the nations. In verse 31, then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good and you will loathe yourself for your iniquities and your abominations. Verse, t- verse 32, is not for your sake that I will act, declares the Lord God. Let that be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, O house of Israel. Wow. Powerful kay ang message karon church. In spite of their failures, in spite of their kanang Kanang, in spite of their pag-fail nila sa command ni God, sa, sa covenant ni God this time, God will restore His people for the sake of His name. And upon receiving a new heart, okay, they will be capable of being obedient to the, to the Word of God. Makonek lang na ko diri no? Nga, gay mentioned dito sa verse, I will deliver you from all your uncleanliness. It's like delivering your family, your your situation right now. Kung onsay life ni mo before, just like before, ako my first na Christian, ako yung una na na reach out that time, and I found out nga ako family before, side sa kung lola, mga Christian day sila, okay, but backslider, but amazing lang nga ang picture ni God sa kung life nga iya it deliver ang kaning uh, kind of people. That's why nakita na ko ang self na, Lord, thank you so much, Lord, that you can imo gigamit ang usaka person. Nga gi-reach out ko and this time na anak ko. Okay? And God will restore people for the sake of His name. Not for the sake, not, not for the sake of akong name, not for the sake of the, kanang, your name, but the name of God. Okay? And this our fo- focus verse and ang promise ni Lord was in verse 26, I will give you a new heart. A new spirit I will put within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. You know what? Maka question tani, why God will give them a new heart? What's in their heart? Unsa may naasilang heart that time? Dimension dito sa verse is that Israel's heart had become rebellious, idolatrous, and hardens against God. They worship different gods at the time. They rebel against God. They did not follow kung unsay command ni God that time. So, makonek siya karon. That's why God made this unconditional promise. Because first and foremost, God made the first covenant and gibuak rapod nila. Gibreak nila ang first covenant. That's why nakasagya pun sila and God delivered them. Ni promise si God nga hatagan hatagan ko na mo kanang pag-ong heart, okay? 
for the sake of His name. So God will give them a new heart. So let me, uh, let me ask this question again. What is in your heart right now, church? Okay, is it nag-worry ba ka sa karon nga season? Okay, something new. Pandemic. Bago lang nakabalik, ah, kinanglan magbalik ko sa akong business karon. Um, sa mga student, online class, kinanglan ko mo adjust. Kinanglan ko mo buy o load. Kinanglan ko mo mo asa kong parents for kanang for load na ko. And maybe kung unsa mong heart karon naglagot ka. Naglagot ka because of your siblings or your parents naglagot ka because na, na naka-offend sa imo ha. Okay? Unsa may nasa imong heart? Nagreklamo ka. 'Di ba? Nagguilty ka tungod sa mga sala nga imong gibuhat. And you know what last Monday makonek lang lang nako ning uh, word no. Nga what is in your heart Reg? Last Monday, it's my schedule, um, coaching and mentoring with Pastor Zab and Ati Angie with Zai. So what happened? So 6 p.m. to siya church ang amo schedule. So unexpect, unexpected kayo ang time nga mo out siya. Supposedly five siya mo out, but na out siya 6 p.m. But our heart that time is nagrumble me, nagreklamo me. Nga nung dugay man kay nga nung namay last nga nga gitawag og client nga 5 pm pa mo mo withdraw siyang siyang money so that time ni hilak si Zai ako pod na pressure nganong 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 naabot man ni Lord it seems like Lord wala my favor naaba ka sa mong life sometimes makaasta ani nga question church atong heart ni God sometimes makaasta ni God Lord naaba ka sa akong situation karon Plus punan pa, pag pauli pa doon sa South, traffic kayo. Dagan kikog reklamo, Lord. One, ah, dili na ko. Dagan kikog salaan ni Lord. Reklamo na ko. Dagan kikog gipang, gipang mention or lahi na gidang akong heart karon. But that time, God spoke to me. Reg on sa may heart ni mo. The way comers found ani nga situation. And right now, church, if there's a situation nga for us, lisod solbaron, unsa may nasa tong heart? Is it magreklamo ka? Is it mo thank ka ni God or mo worship ni God? And that time, nakasulti ko, Lord, I need a new heart. Because it's so hard to go back with God if, in, if ang imong heart is full of sin, full of Kanang, kanang guilty ka sa imong mga sala, dagan ka gipang mention, na kay sayop nga ginabuhat. But God will give you a new heart, church. Can you declare to yourself right now, God will give me a new heart right now? God will give you a new heart to appreciate. Instead of magbagulbol, instead of maggrumble ka sa imong self, be grateful. You will be thankful. God will give you a new heart. And you will be always grateful all the time. Okay? Ang heart is to love God. Okay? Love righteousness. Walk in harmony with God and with others. A heart to follow and a heart to worship God despite of difficulties. So the reason why you are here, church, because you want to worship God. You want to Love God, you want to give your all. You want to give thanks to God. That's why you came here. Okay? That's mone ang heart. A heart nga mo give thanks to God. Bisag hopeless ang situation ni mo. A heart to serve even you have a lot of schedules. Okay? Because God's desire for us nga we choose to love and serve Him especially in this, in this season. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit. I will, uh, um, I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. He will remove the heart of stone. Unsa may picture aning heart of stone? Okay? Heart of stone, it's impossible to repent. Okay? It's impossible to love God. It's impossible to please God in everything you do. That's heart of stone. 
And the heart of sinful, sinful man are so hardened that we cannot even seek God on our own. Sometimes if magkalisod ta, sometimes if makakumit tag sin, sometimes if, if delete ang makarid sa word ni God, it's so hard to go back with God. And I'm just re- being reminded sa kaninga word, even sa mong devotion, last Tuesday with Pastor Sean, with the staff, that we need to go back to His word. We need to go back in, sa among devotion with God. And even you, church, we desperately need a new hearts. We are unable on our own. Dilita ka ng able to, to soften sa tong mga hearts because at the end of the day, mo reklamo gini. Okay? Nagin ni masulti ang atong heart bisag on saon. But a new heart towards God requires a supernatural transformation. That's why God made this promise to give a new heart for these people. And I believe, church, that God is removing us. God, I believe that God is giving us a new hearts that will cause us to live. I believe that God is removing the heart of stone from the flesh, from, from our flesh, a heart that is filled with hope, a heart that is, that is filled with, with faith, a heart that is filled with, with expectation. Okay? Expect kanang expectant ka sa karon nga season expectant ka that God will provide for you expectant ka nga nga ma-restore ang imong family expectant to to believe God nga nice salvation may tabo sa imong family members a heart that is filled with joy in this season a heart that is filled with excitement that's why I would like to appreciate all the volunteers here nga grabe ka early siya mo sa iyo pwede ba nato pakpakan sila di ba mga ushers technical team, um, all the volunteers, music team, a heart that is filled with excitement because their heart is a picture that they love God, they want to serve God. And in verse 26, dili lang new heart, but even new spirit. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. New spirit, not the spirit of doubt, not the spirit of, not the kind of negative spirit, not the spirit of fear, not the spirit of uncertainty, but the spirit to overcome the uncertainty. Okay? Wherever you go, the spirit of God is with you. Be excited in your season, church. Be expectant to receive a new heart. Okay? Be thankful in your season. Be expectant to receive new strategies if you are working online baron or business. Be expectant to receive a new wisdom. Okay? Be expectant to receive a new clients. Be expectant sa imong life. Because God is preparing you. God will give you a new heart in this season. For God had not give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. We have this power to believe God for His Word. We have this power to believe by faith, by declaring His Word. We have this spirit of love, compassion towards the others. To reach out your classmates, to reach out your friends, to reach out your family members. And sound mind means self-discipline, self-control, meaning to say you control yourself. For God, give, for God give us not the spirit of fearfulness, but power, love, and discipline. And lastly, in verse 27, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. And church, the reason why God giving us a new heart is that to obey His command. Okay? He mentions the word, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. God's desire for every human being is that we become more like Him. We follow the word of God our thoughts, our life, and our hearts. 
And sometimes it's so hard to obey the Lord. It's so hard to follow His will. But again, if you have old mindset, if you have old strategies, old understanding, old things, old accomplishment, old self, lisod gudya. That's why we need a new heart. We need to receive a new heart from God. Those are old things are good, but God wants us to have a new strategies and a new heart. God wants us to move forward with new experience, new thoughts, new life, a new heart. Because my one point for this preaching is God is giving us a new heart to love Him. No matter kung unsay situation ni mo karon, God is giving us a new heart to love Him, to follow His will, to respond according to His will. And you know what? That time nga na cancel ang among schedule with Pastor Zab coaching. Um, it's of course it's up. The reason why inato among heart because we are preparing for the next level sa among life with Zai. And that time, because na cancel siya, nagrumble misa mo self, nagreklam mi Lord wala man ka, but nakita na ko sa kong heart personally, the Lord is not honoring to you. Dili ni siya honoring sa ko the way ko mo respond siya masigil na ko reklamo. That's why I humble myself before Him, Lord. I'm sorry. I believe that You have the purpose. Why nga imo ningi allow sa kong sa mong schedule? I believe that you have something to prepare sa moa. And I believe that time after next days, another uh, another nga schedule na mo. And it was grabe kayo nga nga day unscheduled na mo nga nagit si God that time to ni speak si God through Pastor Zab and Ati Anj nga ni share sila about our next level and preparation of marriage. So I believe God is giving us a new heart if we respond in humility, just like these people. Okay, and the heart of God is to obey and to follow His word, especially in this season, church. You know what? Let me pray for you. Can we all stand? I thank you, God, that you're reminding us. That you're giving us a new heart. Maybe some of you are here, and you're asking God, Lord, I want to experience that kind of heart, new, something new sa ko. Ah. Maybe some of you, dalgan ka gina buhat before since pandemic, because invulnerable that church. And this time, this is an opportunity to surrender to God your old heart. And receive this new heart from God. If you are this person, I would like to raise your hand and let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, thank you, God, for these people. Give them a new heart, and I believe that you are with them. I believe, Father, that you will help them in their season. I believe that you already forgive them, Father, because you love them so much. Thank you, God, that you are the one. Will give us a new heart, Lord, to honor you and to love you with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our soul. Lord, that everything we do, we will honor you. And we will glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. You can put down your hands. Can we clap our hands to God? One more thing. If you are first time, or na feel ni mo, you would like to. To receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is an opportunity for you to receive Him, because the promise of God was fulfilled. Katong pagbalik ni Christ, okay? So if you are here, um, I I would like to ask everyone to pray this prayer with me so that my encourage ang uban na first time to pray this prayer a salvation prayer. Let me pray, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you and receive you. As my Lord and Savior, and Lord Jesus, forgive me 
for all of my sins and wash my sins away through your blood. And Lord Jesus, help me to follow you and to love you, God, for the rest of my life. In your name I pray. Amen.